everybody, welcome back. Today I'm going to be making you a gnocchi and bechamel casserole. Now, this is something I think you're really, really going to like. It's tasty, it's good, um, your kids will love it. It's perfect for a dinner party. So let's start with the ingredients and what you're going to need. First you need to preheat your oven to 200 degrees Celsius, about 375 Fahrenheit, depending on how your oven cooks. Then you're going to be needing a pot of salted water, which I've already started. You're going to be needing a slotted spoon so we can remove the gnocchi from the boiled water. Um, you're going to be needing a baking dish, your gnocchi. Now, this is the gnocchi. You can find it at, at the supermarket in the refrigerated section. They're little potatoes. And if you don't like gnocchi, you don't have to use gnocchi. You can use ready-made uh, ravioli. You can also use ready-made tortellini. But we like it with gnocchi, and it's really, really good. Anyway, you're also going to be needing a whisk for your bechamel. Now, for the bechamel, you will be needing about four, sorry, three spoonfuls of uh, flour, three spoonfuls of butter, some salt, some pepper, a little bit of nutmeg, about two cups of uh, warmed milk. Now, the reason why we warm up the milk for the bechamel is because it speeds up the cooking process. It makes your bechamel uh, cook faster. About a squirt of yellow mustard, one and a half to two cups of shredded mozzarella. Again, if you don't like mozzarella, you don't have to use mozzarella. You can use cheddar, you can use emmental, you can use uh, rigato, you can use whatever cheese you like. If you want something with a little bit of a bite, you can use Gruyere, it's up to you. Um, about 10 cherry tomatoes that I've cut in half, and about 10 little mozzarella balls, fresh mozzarella balls. You can also find these at your local supermarket in the refrigerated section where they have the cheeses and also your timer so we don't forget about our food when it's cooking. So I'm going to move everything over to the stove and we're going to get ready. So let's do that. And so we've moved the gnocchi over to the, salt, the pot of salted boiling water and I'm going to put those in. It's real simple. Just like that. You just want to pour them in like that. And we're going to let these boil for about three to five minutes. So you let those boil for about three to five minutes, and then we're going to remove them with our slotted spoon. So as soon as we're done with that, we'll be right back to remove the gnocchi from the boiling water. And that's what it looks like right there. And now we're going to begin the bechamel process. Now this is so simple. When you hear bechamel, don't get scared. It's really not that hard. It's pretty simple. So I'm going to take my four, th sorry, three spoons of butter, and I'm going to put that in my pan, and I'm going to let that start to melt. And I have my stove on a medium for the low heat. So you don't want your butter to burn. And then we're going to move that around a little bit, the butter. And let me show you what the butter looks like. Put your butter right there, just like that, all bubbly. And now what we're going to do is we're going to add in our three good spoons of flour. One, two, and there's your third one right there. And we're going to use our whisk. And we're just going to whisk around the flour and the butter mixture, just like that. And you want it to get nice and thick and bubbly. And it's starting to change colors. Let me show you what it looks like as we're whisking it here. You want it to get nice and golden and bubbly looking. Let me show you how that looks right there. You see that? That's what it looks like. Just like that. That's all you need to do. Just whisk it around a little bit. Just a few minutes. Not even five. Just like that. And now we're going to add in our salt. Put your salt. A little bit of pepper. Put a little bit more salt in. And you're also going to put a little bit of nutmeg. And that's really going to make it taste nice. Just a little bit of nutmeg. So let's whisk that around again, just like that. And now we're going to add in our uh, warm milk. And this is about two cups of warm milk. So I'm going to remove this from the fire for a little bit. I'm going to add in my warm milk. You can hear it sizzle up. And I'm going to add it in gradually, a little bit at a time. And then after we do the warm milk, we're going to add in our mustard. 
So we're going to let this heat up and as we whisk it, it begins to thicken. It's already starting to thicken. You can see it right there. Look at that. Look how smooth and creamy it is. So good. So let's add in a little bit more milk. A little bit at a time. You can see that. It's starting to thicken up again. And as you whisk it, it just gets thicker and thicker. You need to keep it on medium heat. Just be sure at the bottom that it doesn't start to stick. That's what you want. You don't want it to stick. Then after this, we're going to put in our mustard. Let me put the rest of my milk in. And now this is full fat milk. It's not the light stuff. You need the full fat milk to make a nice bechamel. So this is looking pretty good. It's pretty thickened up. It's very smooth. It's very creamy. It looks the way it's supposed to look and it smells the way it's supposed to smell. It smells like a good bechamel. Now we're going to add in a squirt of yellow mustard. So that's a good squirt of yellow mustard. Mix that in again. Just like that. Give it a good whisk. Okay, so we're going to add in part of the mozzarella cheese, not all of it. Part of it. We're going to leave some for the top. So put in a little bit of our mozzarella cheese, stir that around. And now what we're going to do is we're going to put this beautiful bechamel onto the gnocchi just like this. Look at that. Doesn't that look just so good? Just like that. Pour it all on. Mm. It smells, it just smells good. Just like that. Get that little last bit in. Don't want to waste it. Get this little last bit in, just like that, all of it. Let me tell you, I'm going to make this. Your kids are going to love it. You can have a dinner party. People are going to love it. It's just good. And now what we're going to do is we're going to put in our little mozzarella balls. Just going to dot those in like that. A few at a time. Make it look pretty. Put those in. Just like that. Just put them wherever you want to put them. It doesn't really matter. Just here and there. And now we're going to put in our cherry tomatoes. And put the, the cut side up, showing up, and that makes it really pretty. Now if you don't like baked cherry tomatoes, you don't have to put baked cherry tomatoes. Just don't put tomatoes at all. It doesn't matter. Whatever you like. Doesn't that look pretty? Looks really nice. I'm sure it's going to taste really nice. So, finish putting in our cherry tomatoes. And we will put it in the oven and you're going to bake this at 200 degrees Celsius, about 375 Fahrenheit for about 15-20 minutes. Now what I normally do is when I'm baking something on a timer, I put the timer 10 minutes ahead. So. I'll check it to see how it's cooking because you know sometimes ovens can be funny like that. So you need to check your food while it's cooking. And now we're going to put it in the oven. Just like that. So like I said, 15 to 20 minutes. But you're going to check it before that to make sure it's not burning. Okay, and we'll be right back. So I've taken the gnocchi and bechamel casserole out of the oven and this is what it should look like. It smells really nice, and let's taste it to see how it turned out. Let's see here, I'll take a little corner right here. It has a little bit of everything on it. Mmm, smells good. Let's see how it tastes. Let's see what we made. Looks good. Mmm. This is really nice.